One of the evidences that we are not drinking Jesus, either because you're an unbeliever and you've never even tasted, or because you're a believer and something has begun to lure you to another fountain, starting to go there, or you've just blocked him out because you've got some hidden thing you want to keep doing or whatever. One of the evidences of not drinking deeply from Jesus is the instability of constantly moving from one thing to the next, seeking to fill the void. You may be going through sexual partners. You may be going through friends. You may be going through jobs. You may be going through churches. Just one after the other. You may be going through hobbies, internet stuff, hobbies, games. You may be going through hairstyles. You may be going through wardrobes. You may be going through cars. You may be going through locations of where you live. Because there's no deeply contented identity in Christ. Deeply contented, deeply satisfied. That's what water means. Living water is your soul is a cavern of desire. And I offer myself to you, Jesus says, as water that lives. It becomes a well. It just satisfies day after day. You get up with hungers and longings and soul achings in the morning. Come to me and you'll find stability of contented identity. And then you don't move around so much. Jump in here, jump in there, jump in here, jump in there. Crave, 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 crave. Nothing's working. Oh, don't you love people who are so deep with Jesus, they know where it's at, the water. They live by the fountain. They never go anywhere. They just live there. They're not jumping from job to job and wife to wife and girlfriend to girlfriend and job to job and car to car and hairstyle to hairstyle. They are so there. And here's the interesting thing about that. That sounds static, doesn't it? Baloney, it isn't static. Believe me, it isn't static. I don't mean that the Christian life with that kind of centered, deep, satisfied identity by the fountain, satisfied day after day, freshly with new water coming up from this friendship and this relationship, I do not mean this is static. There is a difference between confident movement of faith and craving movement of frustration. You got that? There is a difference between confident movement in faith and craving movement of frustration. Got to move because this is not working. Here, move, move, move. Or this is so working, I'm taking it. I got a plan. I'm making something in my life. I'm not wasting it. I am moving to China. I'm moving to Ukraine. I'm moving to Southeast Asia. I am on the way because I got my feet on a rock and there's a fountain coming up out of this rock and it goes with me everywhere. It's Jesus, not any geographical location. So don't don't hear me say that the movement in life, you know, job to job and hairstyle to hairstyle and wife to wife and sex to sex and TV program to TV program, that the alternative is frozen. I got the fountain. You know that's not what I'm talking about. This fountain is really a moving fountain. It's like a waterfall. I've used that analogy before. Stay under it. It moves. (laughs) Oh, Jesus is a mover. He's going to reach the nations. The fountain's on its way to the nations. You want to get drink deepest, go with him to the nations or the neighborhood. 